Hello everyone, my name is Rainy. You already know what time it is. I've done these before, so I'm not gonna talk your ear off with a giant intro like I usually do. So this box has been sitting on my desk since yesterday and I have refrained from opening it because I want to open it for you guys. So without further ado, let's get right to it. This is a shipment that I made two months ago from Battle Beavers Customs. Battle Beavers uh, specializes in custom controllers and this is actually my very first build. I've never gotten a custom controller made before, so I couldn't really tell you the first thing about custom controllers. Honestly, like most casual players, I mostly got this controller for the aesthetic, which I think is the main reason that I was drawn to Battle Beavers in the first place, because uh, they offer the most by way of customization options. So if you notice, I didn't waste time showing you the outside of the box. I fucking hate that. If you're on YouTube and you do unboxings, right, just stop with the fucking and let's take a look on this side of the box. Wow, they've written so much information. And here you can see the specs of the and on the back there's a smaller picture with more info. Stop that. Open the fucking box. Stop trying to make your videos 10 minutes the hard way, okay? <laughs> yeah, I hate that. Stop doing that. But anyway, enough about the fucking box. Battle Beavers Customs sent me this pretty nifty card with all my specs written on it. Uh, primary use, you the, you have the option of Melee, Ultimate, or Project M. I chose Ultimate because that's my that's the first Smash game that I ever took serious. Cable type, I have a black cable. Mechanisms, I have metal. Thumbstick tension, I have stock. And uh, there's the option of stock, tight, soft, or super soft. I just got stock because, um, yeah, I didn't know what any of that other shit meant, so um, I just wanted to go with what I knew. Increased dead zone, no. No, again, don't know what that means. I've only ever played with stock controllers. This is my very first custom one, so I have no idea what any of that shit means, so I don't want to really fuck with it. I included Rumble. I like Rumble. Fuck you. Now, as far as aesthetics, before I show you this thing, I got a jet black faceplate, rear shell jet black as well. It's pretty much solid black. <laughs> They also include a 30-day warranty. It was built on May 8th, and I think it's really clever that they include these kinds of details. On the back is a warranty policy, which I'm not gonna bother you guys with reading, but it also has the Battle Beaver Promise written on it. We firmly stand by our product as the best in the industry. However, we understand that certain modifications we offer have a certain lifespan. Outside of the 30 to 120 day warranty that comes with your controller, we believe this shouldn't limit your gaming potential. So we will fix any rear button or smart modification throughout the life of the controller for the original owner at minimal charge. Shipping and handling charges will apply, and if controller damage is extensive or as a result from the user frustration, rage, or sudden acceleration towards the floor, wall, <laughs> additional charges will be applied. Come on now, you're better than that. <laughs> That's fire. Also, I paid a little extra for this uh, it's entirely unnecessary carrying case. But if you know me, you know I'm extra as hell. Let's pop this bad boy open. All right, let's see what's in here. I Listen, listen, okay? I know we're this far in the video and I haven't opened it yet. How do you think I feel, all right? How do you think I feel with this box sitting on my desk for a whole day waiting for the chance for me to fucking film this, okay? I waited a day and a half. You could wait a couple more seconds fuck out of here oh oh my god oh my god she's beautiful oh my god she is beautiful she is beautiful look at that look at fucking that and i got the 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 threaded shoelace looking wire for it oh my lord this is like a firearms case dude look at this shit whoa and it comes with the tool to like open it up and ruin it because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but yes, let's take a look at the controller itself. Oh my God, dude. My controller's pretty much noir. Um, this is what it looks like. This is the final product. It is in the Hearst Boys colorway, the Hearst Boys aesthetic of black and white. And um, I've always wanted a controller like this. There are a lot of GameCube controllers out, but none of them really capture my vision the way that Battle Beavers has been able to with this one. If this thing was worth every penny. I can't wait to play test it. Um, I'm definitely gonna have a blast with this. I just wanna thank Battle Beavers real quick for uh, getting this order out to me as fast as possible. I ordered it some time ago, but you know, with the way things are currently with this pandemic, pandemic and everything it's nice that they got it out to me as quickly as they did and the fact that they nailed pretty much everything on this thing is like fantastic like they, this controller looks great um i'm definitely gonna start going to more tournaments i'm just gonna take some shots of the controller before ending the video but my name is rainy this has been another edition of unboxing time and i'll see you guys next time